Okay, here we are, back making on, working on the boat. And like I said, I started making the uh, paddle boards next. I got the paddle boards, I found the exact ones that we have, and I scaled them out to the right scale, printed some out so I'd have the size. And it's kind of hard to see, but I got the thickness of it. And cut them out to the size. And what I'm thinking is one will hang off the side here and that'll be kind of like the the rail. It'll be attached to these things with little some kind of little snaps that should be easy to unsnap, drops right in. And the other one I'm thinking has some kind of some kind of connector here like that holds up the top. And like this one will be hanging off the side to add extra shade right off to the side and then the top comes up maybe even just comes up at an angle I don't know but hanging off the side because I noticed a lot of times on the on boat covers if the sun is off to the side right you're screwed because you got no shade this way you'll have extra shade right you can angle the boat the right direction so that you got that extra shade I'm gonna make these guys. What else did I get? Oh, I got the plan for making the the extra rudder. I'm not exactly sure the shape of it, but I think I'm gonna make it out of this plastic. The same plastic that I used to make the the straps, the barrel straps. I'm gonna use this plastic to make this rudder, and I'm thinking I'll fold it. I'm going to cut it out to shape, fold it, and have that fold be in the front of the rudder. So, whatever the shape is of it, probably shape it similar to the shape of this little black one that's on there. But it just, that little black one's so small now compared to the size of the boat that it wasn't really doing anything. And this thing had a mind of its own. So those two things I'm going to work on. I got this, oh, whoops. I got this foam core board to make the, the paddle boards. What else did I get? Oh, my little. My little guy that I've been using. I thought it would be way more fun to have like a, a better looking person and I found this little guy at the store and the size seemed about the same about proportional there was several different Marvel legends but most of them looked not like humans <laughs> they have like so many crazy costumes this one looks like a real person so I got this one to be the person that's on the boat what else? I found this little ornament decoration, 99 cents, made out of a little piece of wood. Since I don't really have any wood, I've got rid of most of it to make the ship wheel out of that. And that's about it for now. So I'll just start working on some of this stuff and we'll see where it goes. Thank you. 
So I put these paddle boards together with these three of these layers of this foam core. I guess two of the layers of the foam core in the main area. And that was pretty much the right thickness. It needed to be just a tiny bit thinner than that. And then I started thinking about this uh, boat and how it was really squirrely. It just, you turned a little bit and it did a whole 360 every time you tried to turn a little bit. So I wanted to make this rudder really big. I think that's what you do if it's squirrely like that. Make a big rudder, then it like will stop it from spinning, I guess. The rudder will, s will straighten it out. Because I had a rudder on it, but it was like a little bitty one. Because the little green boat was a little bitty boat. So I took and made this big rudder. Made it the same shape as the old one, just a little bit bigger. A lot bigger. I glued it on there. I tried to get it nice and straight. So we'll see. I don't know. Hopefully that's what it's going to take to make this thing straighten out and and float in a straight line. And then you turn it and it float, turns just a little bit. It doesn't do a 360 every time you try to turn it. And hopefully that works. I don't know. We'll go try it again. I don't know. It's getting pretty dang cold out. It's going to be hard to try it again anytime soon. Once it gets cold out here, it kind of stays cold for a while. But we'll see. We'll, there'll be a 60 degree day one of these days that I can go out and try it.
So shaping these guys ended up being pretty fun. I got them mostly shaped. I noticed that the front end wasn't quite tall enough. So I had to add an extra little piece on the front to make the the little front tip stick up high enough. But the back end, I got it mostly shaped. The bottom of it, I got it mostly shaped with just the two layers and then the one extra layer on the top. But kind of fun. It's foam core sands pretty pretty good. You can get a basic shape that you want out of it. I was pretty happy with the way these things turned out. They were pretty neat. They looked like actual little paddle boards, like that guy wanted to go paddle boarding on them. Made a big mess though. They were really dusty. Sanding that stuff. I probably bet it should have been wearing a respirator, but I didn't. And then I decided to make the little fins out of plastic so they would stay nice and stiff. And I made them as wide as the whole board. So they stuck all the way up to the top of the board. And then the will stay really stiff in there. <laughs> Thank you. 
So here's one of them, fully made. You can see the shape of it. It looks like a real paddleboard. Kind of makes me want to go paddleboarding, except that for the water is like 10 degrees out here right now. I don't know how it's 10 degrees when it freezes at 32, but that's what it does. <laughs> and there's where I'm going to stick one of them on that side. I'll probably have like a little rope pulley system to pull it up there, even though they're not super heavy kind of be a pain so pulley to pull it up and then strap it on to some kind of framage and then we'll see from there and then I'm gonna finish making them up and that's pretty much the last thing I'm gonna do on this video is finish making these guys and then get them painted I actually painted a couple more coats on them without filming it but it's pretty fun getting them looking nice Looking like real paddle boards. I'm going to paint the design on them later when I find our actual, when I get our actual paddle boards out and see what the design is. Because it's not that design that's on the printed thing. Don't cut towards your hand. It was really soft cuts. So I wasn't like putting a lot of pressure. So it was okay to cut towards myself. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for watching another episode of the Barrel Boat Build 3.1415926. Made a lot of videos of this and it's still the barrel boat's mostly done. I just got to get all the rest of these little accessories, I guess, done on it. But I was going to sponsor this video by Vegan Vienna Sausages, which turns out isn't really a thing. So when they do come up with vegan Vienna sausages Libby I want to let you know that uh, we're still open for sponsorships on this channel so give us a call or I'll give you a call and we'll get this this uh, deal worked out I did put a couple more coats of paint on the paddle boards and I'll add the details and the colors on them when they're when I find our actual ones they're under the house I'll get them out sometime in the summer and we'll play around with them and I'll have the colors to go. But I got lots of other parts to do on this guy before. Lots of other accessories to make before worrying about that little piece. So have a wonderful Christmas, everybody. I'll, I'm getting close to 100 subscribers and I'll do that one chip challenge when I get that. So make sure you guys subscribe. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Saturnalia. <laughs>